alternators are mostly designed to be inexpensive, not efficient. And that's the way the automotive market is. And so an alternator is actually sort of a misnomer. It is an alternator, but you need 12 volt DC for your car. And so it has some built-in rectifier diodes to convert that at the alternator to DC. But they're about 50% efficient. Now what that means is if they put out 100 amps at 12 volts, that's 1200 watts of electricity. It's also making about 1200 watts of heat. And that doesn't matter too much in a car because you're driving down the road most of the time and not using 100 amps. You might, right after you start the car, to recharge the lead-acid batteries, and therein lies the tail. But they're cooled by the air flowing around in the engine compartment anyway, and usually by some fan blades, either internally or externally, on the alternator itself. And so it's not only not very efficient at making electricity, it's also not very efficient at cooling at 600 RPM idling speed. Somewhat better up at 2,500 or 3,000 going down the road. A lithium battery, when you hook it up to an automotive alternator, is a much higher load than the same voltage lead acid battery. And so it immediately sucks the alternator to its maximum output on contact. Well, the problem is it's sitting there idling and so it's not cooling very well, you can literally burn out an automotive alternator within two or three minutes of hooking it up to a lithium battery. And a lot of the guys that have played with lithium batteries and trying to get it to work with their alternators are somewhat familiar with this.